Good morning, cats. I'm Drayton. I'm Ariel. Let's get into it with your Cat's Eye News. Come get some quick entertainment full of mystery and excitement. Make sure to come out to the Great Gatsby play February 28th and 29th at 7 p.m. on both nights in the L.A. Auditorium. Tickets are $10 but are free for staff and the children under 5. Make sure to come out and support our great theater program. Join Dr. Smith and district leaders who will share information on aquatics plans for the MSD of Lawrence Township moving into 2020. Information will be shared on the state of the current pools at Lawrence Central and Lawrence North, as well as options to address current and future student and community aquatic program needs. The meeting will take place February 26th at 6.30 p.m. in the Professional Development Room at LECC. Please enter through door three. For those unable to attend, well, you're in the luck. A Facebook live stream of the event will take place on February 26th. On March 16th, 2020, from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m., Congressman Carson will host his annual Youth Opportunities Fair at Central Library in downtown Indianapolis. The event will connect young people and their families with 75 employers and community organizations offering job internship and programming opportunities. Working youth ages 14 and up will also have the chance for practice their interview skills and gain valuable insights on how to approach potential employers. Youth not yet able to work in their families can learn about local camps and other engagements programs offered during the summer and year round. If your school has a Jobs for America's graduates aka the JAG program. Employee Indy is coordinating with these groups for in-school field trip attendance at the event. If your school is able to provide transportation and would like to bring an additional group of students during or after school, please reach out to me so we can make the most of your visit. More with amazing individuals here at Lawrence North. Congrats to Ms. Barsic, who is now the head coach for the girls cross country team. Tickets to the IHSAA Girls Basketball South Semi-State are available in the athletic office. There will be two games played at Jeffersonville High School this Saturday, February 22nd. The 4A game of Lawrence North was 24-4 versus Benford North Lawrence was 21-5. will start around 3.30 p.m. Tickets are $10 if you plan on attending the game. Make sure to also sign up for the fan bus by 2 o'clock p.m. today. It comes with a free ride and free pizza. The sign-up list began this week, so you need to make sure to save some gas, get some free pizza, and ride to and from the game with your fellow girls basketball fans. Now on to in a commercial break with Danny. Hi, this is Cat Time. I'm here with Anthony Hughes. And I want to ask you, how do you feel about being a state qualifier? Uh, I mean, you feel good. You know, some I've been working hard for a couple of years, and it feels good to be there. So, what do you feel the difference in your work ethic is from last year? Uh, last year, I really know. I, I didn't really know the sport. Like, I know it now, and now that I know it, you feel me? I work hard. It feels here at First Let Me Use, good luck in state, have a great day, and go Cats! Good morning Wildcats, I'm Dana, I'm here to you today, let's go! Alright, so today the high will be 30 and the low will be 13. It will be 16 degrees and it will be cloudy. After school today, it will be 29. And before school on Monday, it will be 36. Alright, so throughout the weekend, it will be mostly, it will be mostly, it will be partly cloudy and then on Sunday it will be cloudy with the highs, with the highs in the mid 40s and the, and the low 50s. And the lows in the low 30s and the high 20s. Okay, so last question from last episode. Who was the name of the black film director who directed the film? Did the right thing in 1989? The answer was C, Spike Lee. And who started the Motown, the famous black record label, in 1959? A, Sean Combs, B, Barry Gordon, C, L.A. Reid, D, Dr. J. A tip. 
This level was the home of the Temptations, Stevie Wonder, and Michael Jackson in the Jackson 5. All right, guys. I'm Dane, and I'm here with Troy J. Let's go back to Anchors. Good fuck, lady Wildcats. Good luck, lady cats. It's in my state. Good luck. Mick championship. Check. Sectional or county championship. Check. Sectional championship. Check. Regional championship. Check. It's time for semi state. Let's go. Good luck, girls at semi state. Good luck, girls at semi state. Congratulations, girls basketball. Why you sound so big? Good luck, LNGB. Good luck. Good luck. Let me see that. Congratulations, Congratulations, girls, basketball. basketball. Good luck, lady. Wow, okay. Welcome back. More with sports. The boys go against Pike for the MIC title tonight. The theme for the game is Purple and Go in honor of Kobe and Gigi. The game will be here at LA. Saturday, they will play Fort Wayne South in Fort Wayne. Make sure to come out and support the boys. More with great players. Anthony Hughes won semi-state and is now going to state for wrestling. There will be a college fair here at Ellen in the gym on March 10th. Sign up for the Strive Scan at www.strivefair.com. Signing up will ensure you that colleges will already have your information for an easier and more effect effective efficient experience. experience. When you register, make sure to take your barcode for the colleges to scan. Make sure to attend because there is still time to apply for college. More with college. There are also another great college opportunity. 21st century scholars have a great opportunity. Freshmen can create a graduation plan. Sophomores can get workplace experience. Juniors can visit a campus. And lastly, the fantastic seniors can submit college applications. Follow your, F your FAFSA and watch College Success 101. Make sure to take advantage of this. Attention, Unified Track. The call-out meeting will be Wednesday, February 26th at 4 o'clock p.m. in room 165. The parent meeting will be Wednesday, March 4th at 4 o'clock p.m. and Wednesday, March 13th at 5.30 p.m. And lastly, the team meeting slash first practice will take place Monday, March 16th from 4 o'clock p.m. to 5 p.m. And pickup is at door 7. Lawrence Swim Team will be hosting free swim lessons tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. here. They welcome all ages as long as they are potty trained. Any questions can be directed to Catherine Stuff at kstuff48 at gmail.com. See you there. After Mac is available for English on Tuesdays from 4 to 5, Math Tutor is available on Wednesdays and Thursdays 4 through 5. Cheese Chess Club meets every Tuesday in room 232 from 4 to 5. Try something new. We want to bring attention to our students apart from the Lawrence Academic Top 30 students. Good job with all your work throughout your high school career. And another congrats to our Mr. Ellen contestants. Our contestants this year are Nick Lockery, Ennis Hayden, Brody Smith, Sean, Alex Welch, Jasper Souter, Eduardo Alvarez, Tyler Berkla, Ethan Waters, Rashad Harris, and cast our very own Jeremy Lee and Cosby Albright. That's all we have for today's episode. Make sure to have a great day and go, go Cats! Yeah, yeah, what you doing this weekend, though? Nothing, chilling, probably at home. You should really go to the game. Where's going to be at? It's in Jeffersonville. How am I gonna get there? It's a fan bus. And with the fan bus, it's pizza. They be right there and back. It's only $10. And it's a ticket. For real? Yes, it's on the low. For real. It's they, got, they got slippers and Yeah, you gotta get this whistle right there. And turn it into our flooded office. It's $10. Don't be there no later than 11.45. Meet at the office. Swear okay. guys, it's free and everything. I might go then. Let's go. Hey, what's that in your hand? Oh, this? This is a cat size suggestion box. Um, it's gonna be in the cafeteria with postal cards by in this pen. All you gotta do is write down something that you want us to do on cat size or a skit idea, feedback, anything. And we, we read all of them, like every day. So, it'll be in the cafeteria. They're gonna announce it. Yeah.